Chris, could you tell us your role here at CMS Setcore? I'm the senior supervisor of this area. Now, this area consists of lots of these courier bed mills, yeah. doesn't it? What, what are you actually doing on them? I mean, how many have you got? Is it four? There's four. Four here. So what, you, what do you make? Um, crusher parts, ranging from tightening wedges up to jaw stocks. OK, so do you, do you ever machine, um, you know, challenging materials on here? Because I, I sense from the, the crushing and the quarry industry, yeah. there must be harder materials. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, ranges from soft stuff like 43A up to hard ox and manganese. OK. Now, with these machines, they're bed mills, so the, uh, it, the, the beds move on them, don't they? Yeah. I mean, how do you find them to use, to access, to set yeah. and operate? Easy enough. Easy enough. There's, there's doors on the front and back, so you can get to both sides of the table. So plenty of open access yeah. to get into load, but not just load, but also check the, the components that you, you're doing yeah. as well. Yeah, easy enough. Now, do you hit your, hit your parts hard, Chris? Are you, is it quite a demanding yeah. um, cell that you've got you, here? You, try to without breaking things <laughs> and have you ever broken them sometimes <laughs> and the latest machine you've got here is this one behind us it's got the latest touch screen control yeah. you've got a 30 station tool changer on here is there any other features on this machine that are new that you've got that you like that make a difference uh, well on this one we've got the custom doors so you get more room at the front so if you have to have bigger parts they can overhang the back of the table slightly. So are you doing any multi-face machining or are these just standard three axis machines? No they are three axis with plus two and a four axis with plus two as well. Right so, so you, do, you are doing multi-face yeah. machining uh, I suppose that that saves you from having to set up parts oh, yeah. and move them yeah, through. Yeah no any times yeah so yeah it's really quick sometimes you have to like this one you have to pick up turn jobs around whereas on the others you just on the table. Especially with the size of the parts that you're doing yeah. and the weight of them, you don't want to be continually yeah, no. moving them around. Talk to me about the actual working envelope of these machines as well. I mean, from the outside, you've got metres in the x-axis, haven't you? Yeah, they've got two and a half metres length, one and a half metres high and 12.50 in the y-axis. Now that's what I wanted to pick out on that y-axis. How important is it for you to have that ex sort of extended 12.50 because that, that, that gives you more flexibility, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It opens up a lot. Well, you can, you can get a lot of bigger parts in there without having to pick jobs up, turn them around to do the bits you just can't reach. It saves a lot of time. And as an operator, is there any sort of cheats you've found in machining with machines like this that that uh, help you? you? Know, someone might say to me, using this particular control, if you use this function, I can do you know get more material removed, access the machine quicker. Is there anything that? that you could um, illustrate that um, would be I mean, convenient with, for an operator to know. With your 30 tool stations, you can also have up to 120 total by doing manual tool changes. So you can have your racks full of tools and just get one that you just use the odd time, fill that in there, and then it goes up, carries on, comes back towards you, you take it out, and then carry on with the program. Elaborate on that again. So that what's that, a tool changer? Yeah, you've got your 30 tools, then you can go up to 120, and beyond that, it's called a manual tool change. You can set that tool to come down towards you, open the door, take that tool in there, shut the door, carry on, it comes back, back on the right and just carry on again. Quite a neat feature. And, and what about the five axis that you talk about, the multi-face machining, is that, all, uh, is that all simultaneous or is that just positional? No, no just positional. And, and having the doors each end of the machine as well, does that allow you to better access to get in and see? Or well, If you have long jobs and you're working on one end, can always open the door and have it so it, it comes out but you have to, to put a hanky over it though wouldn't you oh yeah yeah big hanker uh, finally the reliability of the machines chris you run this cell you'll have pressure yeah. on you to hit deadlines yeah. do they break down much do you have any problems with growth They're, or any um just wear and tear mainly just general general maintenance of you know sometimes you might have a bang and a bit of work there but other than that got other milling machines in the shop you're glad you run this cell yeah yeah, I don't like turning <laughs> millions of me.